Hi, it's Kirk from iMazing. Today I'm going to tell you about some important changes in macOS Catalina and how they are handled by iMazing. In macOS Catalina, Apple has split iTunes into a number of apps, each of which handles one type of media or a specific feature. As on iOS, the various media apps each manage a specific type of media. The Music app handles your music library, Apple Music, and gives you access to the iTunes Store if you wish to purchase music. The TV app lets you buy and rent movies and TV shows from Apple, lets you manage your local library, and is your gateway to Apple TV+. Podcasts lets you subscribe to, download, and listen to your favorite podcasts. Books, which previously managed ebooks, also now handles audiobooks. And iTunes' local sync and backup features are now available in the Finder. iMazing provides enhanced versions of these features, and much more. macOS Catalina will ask you to grant permission to iMazing to work with any of these apps. macOS Catalina also includes a number of new security features, and it notably requires that you give your approval when third-party apps wish to access certain types of data or features. You will need to grant explicit permission to apps that want to access files in these locations. Your Documents folder, your desktop, external drives, and network drives. In addition, accessing iOS device backups made by iTunes or the Finder requires a special permission called Full Disk Access. If you give Full Disk Access to an app, you implicitly give access to the locations I just mentioned. When using iMazing, you will only see these prompts if you choose one of these locations to store your backups. If you don't allow iMazing to access files and folders, you can do so at any time by clicking at the bottom of the iMazing sidebar, then following the instructions. This will give full disk access to iMazing and let you backup and browse your backups in any location. If you enjoyed this video and want more tutorials like this one, then subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button below.